Hello and welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I am excited for today's Pick a Card. Today we're going to see who will tell you, okay, who will actively communicate uh, that they are in love with you, who is really going to lay it on the line and really say it, okay, and we'll tap into their relationship offer and what type of commitment this would be as well. So that is our topic. Uh, my Etsy shop, it is in the description if you would like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Other than that, uh, pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can always pick more than one pile as well for all of my readings. For group one, we have the Finchonite Crystal Point, and we will be using the Animal Totem Tarot. For group two, we have the Purple Flash Labradorite, and we will be using the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. For group three, we have the Galacophane Crystal Point, and we'll be using the Villains Tarot. And for group four, we have the Green Zebra Stone, and we'll be using the Everyday Witch Tarot. So go ahead and pause the video if you need more time to decide, but we're just going to jump right into it. All right, if you chose group one with the Finchonite Crystal Point and the Animal Totem Tarot, this is your reading, tapping in to see who will tell you that they are in love with you and what is their relationship offer? What kind of commitment is this? Spirit, this is for group one. Group one with the Finchonite Crystal Point. I just saw 222 on the clock. Spirit for group one. Who will tell group one they are in love with them? <clears throat> Ooh, the first card we have that came out for you is the tennis match here. So this looks to be someone who you have a great banter with. This seems to be someone who you've had a uh, back and forth with. We don't know if this is someone you know quite yet. We'll get it in this reading. So this could be someone new and it starts off with a lot of banter, a lot of kind of building, especially if that's just how you are. If you're more of like a friend vibe in the beginning type of person, someone who doesn't really assume that, you know, people automatically have romantic interests because they're friendly. Um, that could just be your vibe. But with this person, that is the very first energy coming out. So this is someone who it's like you got this tennis match energy with, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Both of you are equally interested. Both of you are equally investing into the connection. Ooh. So this is definitely giving commitment commitment energy like official title energy we got the committed card that came out so this person is offering you a relationship where you are their number one priority their only priority the only person that they are dating now i will say we do have all sorts of creatures that also popped out so listen group one you're attracting a lot of people right now it seems like you're coming out of hermit mode. There's like this energy with you where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm ready again. I'm putting myself back out there, putting on a brave face, and I'm reemerging into the dating pool. That's just the energy that I get. So um, it seems like you guys may have taken a little bit of time off. Maybe it was because of a past, you know, negative experience you really had to heal from. Maybe it's because, you know, your financial situation, you had to focus on other things in your life or... Um, you know, maybe you're just a hermit, but tapping into this energy with all sorts of creatures, yeah, it feels like you're definitely attracting multiple people who are crushing on you, um, multiple people, but the thing about all sorts of creatures, because there's multiple cards in this deck that allude to there being multiple options, the thing about this one specifically is usually it's like, you know, not, it's, it's, <laughs> some of the options are kind of questionable. So <laughs> let me see what's going on with you guys, group one. Um, 
but we have old flame and committed here so yeah there's definitely someone who you used to know uh, now i'm hearing that song by Gotti. now you're just somebody that i used to know. there's definitely someone an old flame in your energy that is trying to make you a commitment offer so maybe it's because they can see that you have re-emerged onto the dating scene or maybe it's because they're ready because again they are offering you know commitment as soon as I picked up the deck again, we got an, uh, angelic help and guidance that just kind of slipped right out. So your guides are letting you know, okay, yeah, I can feel your anxiety rising. You may be someone who likes to have like one person you're focusing on at a time. You may not be really big on rotational dating. You may even be already starting to feel anxious as the reading is unfolding with multiple energies coming out. And then it's like, okay, do I have to worry then? Like, am I going to have to be on guard? Um, and then right away in the nick of time, your angels, your guides, your spirit team comes in letting you know, listen, we are here with you. In the spiritual realm and in the 3D, we are helping you. There's a lot of angelic help and guidance around you at this time. So people who are complete time wasters or would just put you on a different path that would not serve you, your angels are definitely protecting you from that, from those kind of connections, from those people. Your guides, they ain't going to do you like that. They're not going to let you end up completely misaligned. They're here with you. Ooh, we got a manifested connection. So this is very interesting. Okay, now that makes so much more sense because this is the thing that a lot of people do not talk about. When you manifest love, what are you doing? You're attracting things towards you. When you're attracting things towards you because you're attracting a specific kind of love connection, yeah, you're gonna attract all sorts of creatures. It's like a porch light in the middle of the night. All the moths, all the bugs, all the mosquitoes, all the creep, creepy crawlies, they're all around that light. So if you're manifesting a connection right now, yeah, I do feel like that connection is coming in. I mean, it, it came up verified here, a manifested connection, right? But that's the reason why you're also attracting all sorts of creatures. Unless you've gone through a glow up and you know you have, like, unless there's been some significant change in you, like, oh, no, I actually just got some work done. You know, unless it's something like that where you know why people are giving you all this attention all of a sudden and you know why you'd be attracting all sorts of creatures. Group one, this is that other side of manifesting. So yeah, there is a manifested connection that's coming in, but you're attracting an old flame. You're attracting all sorts of creatures. Like your energy is really potent right now. You may be focusing on your magnetism, but um, yeah, you're you're <laughs> you're attracting all sorts of people. Yeah, we have talking crap and roasting that did come up. So that definitely relates to the tennis match person. I feel like you guys have really good banter. I feel like you genuinely get along. We literally have turning heads here. So again, your energy is on point. Your energy is on 1000. You're turning heads. You're attracting all sorts of creatures, all sorts of people because that manifestation you've been doing or if you've been focusing on god work goddess work anything that basically like amplifies your energy anything that gets you kind of closer to like your most potent energy form is gonna be is gonna be something that will cause this kind of ripple effect that we have here so we have making a connection and divine counterpart so I do see you making a connection in all of this, and I do see you ultimately choosing someone. Um, but it's looking like it's looking like everyone's honestly making a serious offer. I'm gonna clarify with all sorts of creatures and see what that's really hitting for, because obviously that would be multiple people. But this old flame is offering commitment. We have manifested connection, divine counterpart, and making a connection. So with the manifested connection, it's looking like it's gonna be serious. So it's like, yeah, it's a lot. If you're feeling nervous and anxious, that would be why. And also sometimes, especially if you don't specify, if you've ever done some work on yourself, but you forgot about it, you, you know, didn't see results from it right away. So you just assumed it didn't work. It may be amplifying right now. The time may be now. So say you did something like in 2020. That's so crazy to think that's like four years ago. But say you did, you know, like a spell work on yourself in 2020, you did some uh, magnetism work or you did a super strong love spell on yourself and, you know, nothing came about because obviously things kind of got shut down and things went left. Everybody went on a different path. 
Well, now things are fully open and people are well integrated. People are doing their thing, you know, living life, whatever. Things are literally back to normal. And so, uh, yeah, that spell work may be hitting now. So <laughs> let's see what else we get, Spirit, for group one. We have, it is safe for you to love and love yourself first. So yeah, your guides, your angelic team, they're definitely working overtime to protect you because spirit is still calling you to be open at this time, even though there's kind of all this like chaos, not necessarily chaos, but even though there's a lot going on, spirit is still, you know, kind of urging you to open up, to be open, to let love in to allow things to happen, to allow them to manifest. Spirit isn't telling you like, okay, close yourself off, be careful. Spirit is just saying, love yourself first. So that really just means kind of getting out of the mindset of, I have to be available to everyone so I don't miss out on everything, on anything. Or I have to be nice to everyone or da 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 da. Like spirit's like, no, love yourself first. Honest, honor how you feel. Love yourself first says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So uh, the more standards you have, the better, especially when you have the upper hand like this, where you're already turning heads. When people express their interest to you first, you already have the upper hand. So you don't have to go into, oh, let me appeal to this person mode because you already do, which is why you turned their head, got their attention and they pursued you. Um, and then we have it is safe for you to love. It says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So spirit is really urging you to open your heart up and to get ready. Um, and I feel like spirit wants you to have an open heart so that you can really feel which option is best for you. Because, you know, I think when we think old love, we always think it has a negative connotation. But that's not necessarily true. We got old flame and committed. So this person is showing up properly this time. Not everyone has... A bad history with people sometimes there can be hurt because it's like okay right person wrong time but not everything is like traumatic or negative and bad so I wouldn't count the old flame out just because you know they're an old flame in itself wow we have reconciliation and you deserve love so if anything I feel spirit saying like honor your spirit you deserve to be happy you deserve to be in love even if it's with an old flame, even if your friends don't like them, your family don't like them, you know, this is your life. And at a certain point, you just have to live for you. Um, you deserve love says you are lovable. Reconciliation says someone from your past is returning to your life. So this old flame, they're definitely showing up pretty strongly in this reading. Their energy is coming up pretty strong. Um, and reconciliation typically means like not just you seeing them again, hearing from them again, but usually it's about getting it together with them again. So if I had to say, I do feel like you're going to likely give, uh, the old flame at least a chance, um, as you're dating, you know, the manifested connection. We have children. This could be very telling. It says your love life is being affected by children. So if this is like a child's father, a child's mother, a co-parent, perhaps it was that that did it. Both of you kind of were coming into a new version of yourself being parents. And yeah, there was significant changes that happened here. And we can play the blame game all day. But at the end of the day, like those pregnancy hormones are no joke. So it's like, yeah, someone, you know, should have in theory held space for you better. But if they're not a professional, like, you know, a therapist, someone with, you know, past experience, you, we can't actually expect them to support them, support us because they just don't have the tools. You know, in a perfect world, people will give us everything they need. But at the end of the day, for one, we're, we're all human. And for two, we simply don't have the experience. Most of us are not out here like grade A psychologists that know how to tackle a problem or, or that arises in ourselves, let alone another person. So I feel like spirit kind of calling you to give them some grace. Even with the children card, it doesn't have to be literal children. It can also be someone you knew when you were younger. And we have religious factors. So you may have changed since you've dated them. Um, so they would definitely have to get to know like the new version of you in order for this to work. But if I had to say, I feel like you're going to explore this old flame connection. I'm going to get more about this manifested connection from the tarot. 
Uh, religious factor says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I feel like that's also the reason why you're not entertaining. I don't know, like not gonna lie, like spirit, <laughs> spirit is not exactly like telling you to ignore these creatures. That's not really the energy that I'm getting. I'm not getting spirits saying like, yeah, all these creatures trying to get your attention, like ignore them. You know, I feel like it's a pop in time in your dating life right now. And spirit is like, listen, give everybody a chance and just trust that you have the tools and you have learned what you needed to learn in order to show up in a way that will keep you from going down an uncomfortable path. But see everything for what it is. Spirit, what is the relationship offer for this manifested connection, this divine counterpart? Can you tell us more about this? We have the Hierophant, so Spirit is kind of saying you know that you want them. We have the King of Cups and the Tower here as well. Hmm. Something about this connection feels very different. Something about this connection feels like it would change your life. And... Um, yeah, Spirit's like challenging me not even to think about it in a black and white kind of way where it's like, oh, it would change your life for the better. It would make it so much more amazing. Spirit is saying it would just change their life, period. Can we get more on that? I mean, King of Cups is good. Nice. We got the moon in reverse, so there's no confusion here. Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you wouldn't have as much control over this connection. Ace of Cups, this person could be very busy. So if you've been manifesting like someone with a lot of wealth, someone with a lot of power, Spirit is saying, Ace of Cups, in this connection, you'll have to have a lot of self-love because someone with a lot of wealth and power isn't available to just kind of shoot the, you know, on any day and always be there. So I'm getting a little bit, a little bit of an energy of Spirit kind of saying, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. This connection that you manifested may not be exactly what you thought it was going to be. Um... There's just a little bit here where it's like you may want the romantic connection as well as like the just let's use financial stability. Like so say you're manifesting someone who has like a lot of wealth. Spirit is kind of saying, well, once you get in this connection, it's hard for you to open up to them and to really let yourself fall for them because that is the benefit, the main benefit that comes with this connection. But this connection... We do have divine counterparts, so you will work really well together, but it does feel like something is missing. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, maybe it's control. Queen of Wands in reverse could also be an energy of you are, like you have to move for this connection, so you're away from your friends, your family. It's hard for you to get your footing. You feel kind of alone. And then we have the Moon in reverse, so Spirit is saying through this manifested connection, yeah, it would change your life and you would end up learning the truth of this manifested connection. Whatever that means for you. Spirit, how about the old flame with this commitment offer? Can you give us more details of their relationship offer? We got the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay. And the fool. So there's definitely an energy of starting over, starting fresh. Spirit is saying with this old flame, and we did get that a little bit with religious factors where it's like it says your spiritual, or sorry, it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That's basically saying you guys would have to start over on a blank slate. And that's what I see here. So King of Pentacles in reverse with the fool. I don't even feel like King of Pentacles in reverse. This person is like who you remember. So this is an energy of you starting over on a new slate. And we have the justice card at the bottom of the deck. So maybe you guys didn't even get to explore your love connection. So when we think of Old Flame, we think of someone we really have a history with. Nine of Pentacles. They may have already been invested in another connection. They may have already been invested in another project or path. Um, something about this old flame feels like this is someone you either dated when you were really young or at a time where you were unavailable or they were unavailable. Somebody was or both of you were unavailable. So when you're starting over with this old flame, the only thing that you guys kind of have is just like we know each other, but we don't know each other like deeply you know we have to get to know each other again for sure with this one spirit out about all these creatures the tennis match i mean they're turning heads 
They have good banter with people. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Spirit is saying this is all about the art of receiving, allowing yourself to go on dates and be treated, allowing yourself to be complimented, Ace of Pentacles, allowing people to reflect back to you your value through their attraction to you and what they're willing to do for you. We have the Magician in Reverse. Ooh, so you may not be acting on these connections beyond, um, and the Devil, ooh. <laughs> Okay, so there's a lot of pitfalls here. There's a lot of pitfalls here. Um, these creatures, it's it's scaring you. You know, honestly, you may be into like stability. That may be your jam. If I feel stability with you, I am much more likely to move forward with you. If I don't feel comfortable, if I don't feel stability, if I don't feel like I can trust you, it's a hard. It's hard for me to open up. And we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there just may simply be a stronger connection that is pulling you over entertaining these creatures or this person that you have this good banter with. Honestly, you may be even past this the stage where you um, consider banter to be like a big sign that someone is for you. You know, a lot of times we feel activated when people can keep up with us, when they have a similar sense of humor. But you may have learned in your past experiences, I just saw 21, 21 on the camera, 21, 21. Um, you may have learned in your past experiences that it's uh, not enough for a swords in reverse. Hmm, very telling. You know, I don't see you taking these people seriously. We have the Knight of Cups. So it's like, yeah. And I feel like that's why Spirit is kind of telling you. See, that's the thing about the Knight of Cups. The Knight is very chivalrous. We even use Knight as a word, like, societally to describe someone who's very charming and chivalrous. Like, if you've ever heard of white knighting, it's essentially when if you see someone in distress, obviously, you know, not interested, you go up to them, you can act like you're their friend or you've been waiting for them or, hey, you know them and get them out of that situation. That's white knighting. So with the Knight of Cups, like, that's why Spirit is saying, like, you know, yeah, you know, these are, there are all sorts of creatures and it's kind of a mess here. And yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you shouldn't entertain it long term, but still, it's safe for you to love. Love yourself first. Allow yourself to be treated. With the Knight of Cups, it's not King of Cups, <laughs> like this manifested connection. Um, but it's still fun and you're still receiving value from it. So I see a spirit saying entertain it as long as it feels right. If it flat out doesn't feel right, definitely honor your tuition, especially in today's day. So you don't get wrapped up in no craziness. But, you know, spirit is saying allow yourself to have fun, live a little. That's what I have for you, group one. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you would like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Uh, and yeah, that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. If you chose group two with the purple flash labradorite, this is your reading. We're going to be using the Edgar Allan Poe tarot for you today. And we shall see group two who will tell you they are in love with you, who will openly express their love for you. And we'll get into their relationship offer. What kind of commitment is this going to be? Spirit for group two with the purple flash labradorite. Please show us who will tell group two they are in love with them. Their relationship offer. What kind of commitment is this? Nice. So right away we have going steady and committed. Even at the bottom of the deck we have official date. <laughs> so group two, it kind of feels like you're, pl you're playing hardball. Maybe not necessarily, but it just kind of feels like you're interested in a very specific kind of connection and that's the serious type. Doesn't feel like you're young, wild, and free and kind of open to whatever and having a good time. I mean, maybe you are. Maybe you want. You know, it's all about that balance, right? But still, with going steady, it feels like you're ready. It feels like you're ready to get into a connection where it's like, okay, we're actually growing. You may have even... Uh, struggled recently to like get past the talking stage specifically like the phase where you're just kind of getting to know someone and whatnot maybe you find that it fizzles out quite quickly and you've been really trying to get past that <clears throat> so 
So it does look like that's happening for you. One of these just flipped. Nice. So we have soul connection here. So this is going to be someone who you connect with on a soul level. You guys could have the same sun sign. You guys could uh, very much so relate to each other in terms of your values, in terms of who you are and what you want to do in this life. It's like a solar plexus type of base connection. So when you connect with someone on a solar plexus level, it's like, I really get you. This is someone you can, you know, sit with without words or someone you can speak to without words. You know what I mean? I just saw 222 on the camera. It's funny because I saw 222 on the clock for group one. Um... So you may have felt called a group one, but let's see what we get here. We got fire energy. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Leo Sag Aries would be fire energy. Uh, fire in itself is about zest, you know, zest for life. Thank you if anyone said bless you. I do that. So thank you if you did say it. But <laughs> I'll be watching a video and it's like, obviously, you know, it was recorded in the past and the person is well past the sneeze. But I'll be like, bless you. <laughs> Shout out to you. Anyways, we have fire energy. So this person has a zest for life. It seems I keep hearing Sagittarius as well. I was getting that even in the beginning. Um, just tapping into your energy. So Sag is ruled by Jupiter. It represents travel, foreign cultures. You may be traveling or you may have some sort of like, you know, study abroad situation going on. Or you may have just been looking at a potential vacation you want to go on. Considering even moving out of the country that you're currently in. Ooh. Okay. There is someone in your energy who wants to have you bad. We have quantum advancement as the last card that came out. And I feel like this heavily has to do with why this person is coming in so strong and they're trying to make a connection with you. Because there's someone in your energy from the past. We have old flame and metaphor of love that came out back to back. So it's just like there's this old flame who is stuck on like what love should look like or what it should be like. It just kind of feels like this person, I just heard Libra. They may have strong Libra energy in their chart, but Libras are known for being idealistic. They're ruled by Venus, so it makes sense. It's all about like glamour and romance and, you know, the magical, the fantastical aspect of love versus like more grounded, practical kind of like we're doing the same routine every day, but we're doing it together. Earth sign kind of love. It's more fantastical and magical and free. Um, so anywho, yeah, there's this old flame in your energy who can't let go of the past. Honestly, they may even be idealizing the past in itself. And that may be why they're coming back around because they're having a hard time moving on from what you experienced, but it's like what you experienced was a metaphor of love or it was puppy love. You know, it was something that isn't sustainable or something that isn't real at least to your standards today like it may have been real real or sorry it may have been real love at the time but now that you have distance and time and space between now and since you were in that connection you may not even consider that love but you really thought you were in love at the time and maybe one of those kind of situations where you're like you know what I don't think I've ever been in love or I don't feel like I was truly in love with that person because your idea of love is so different now but there's someone either A, stuck on the past, um, or B, they think that you guys should be together based on ideas versus reality. So I feel, I'm not going to go too far into that because I could talk about that all day, but I feel like you'll know intuitively who we're talking about, what we're talking about, what your specific circumstance uh, is with that person. But we have enjoying the moment. And I feel like you do. I feel like you do want to enjoy the moment. However, your energy in the beginning was so different. It was like, okay, I'm ready to go steady. I'm ready to be in an actual committed relationship. I'm ready for a soul connection. I'm ready for a quantum advancement to level up my love life. So this whole enjoying the moment thing that this old flame, this metaphor of love is trying to, you know, get you to buy into, it's not... It's not enough anymore. And it's not that they're not enough, but it's just like, this isn't enough. You know what that's giving. You've already had it. Not to say that you're not interested, especially if you have genuine love for, you know, in your heart for this person. You may, yeah, be interested, but 
it kind of seems like you've evolved into a place where you now make decisions based on like your wisdom and what you know. So it's just, it's hard for you to engage in this again, when you know so much about this person and what would happen or what kind of connection it would really be. We have a mutual connection in fire energy. So that definitely feels new. There's someone coming in, could be a fire sign. Like I said, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, but fire energy in itself is all about like someone who likes to travel. That's where I was getting that Jupiter energy. Even in the beginning of your reading, I was getting that, you know, Jupiter rules, uh, foreign cultures, learning, languages, travel, new experiences, expansion. Uh, and it feels like that's been your vibe and now you're ready to go steady, but you still want like a balance where you get to have fun and enjoy life, but with another person that you're going steady with, you want someone more, you know, serious here. So let's see what else we get. Spirit for group two. Who is telling them they are in love with group two? And the way that they will express their love is like professing their undying love it's going to be very idealistic if it's everything you've always wanted to hear buckle up because it's going to be hard for you to say no to that but uh some of you i feel like it's like a 50 50 split honestly some of you are really like I don't want to say buying into it because that sounds like they're not being authentic. I do feel like they're being authentic, but it's just like, I don't know. Some of you are going to be like, you know what? Yes, I need to repeat. I need to see where this goes with this person. And some of you are really just looking at this person and you're realizing like, wow, I feel nothing. Like I don't have those same feelings. Like it's, I, it feels good to, I thought one of these flipped over. It feels good to hear these things, but do I actually feel something based on what this person is saying? Mm, not so much. Yeah, we have free yourself, healing family issues, and let your friends help you. So you may be breaking a generational curse by moving on from this idealistic kind of love that's based on ideas versus reality. I'm even getting a little bit of tea, okay? A little bit of tea here where some people in your family, and it does feel like the feminines, like the women in your family may have surrender to that like kind of 50s era love where it's like you know marriages lasted years and years and years back in the day and it's because yeah a lot of people were putting up with a bunch of crap so I feel like you may be breaking that mold I'm even getting a little <laughs> a little hood love type of energy here okay where they're like you gonna hold me down bae and um I see you finally saying no Okay, and you're breaking a generational curse. Cheers to that, okay? Breaking that generational poverty mindset. Healing family issues says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you may have even done some like inner child healing, parental healing since you've been in this relationship. And that could have even been one of the things you bonded on with this person. You knew about their struggles with their family or their parents or maybe they didn't have one, so you kind of stepped in as a supportive force in this person's life. Um, but now you're past that. You're past, you know, the need and the innate desire to even be the nurturer. I'm now tapping into a divine feminine. I'm getting a lot of divine feminine energy here. I'm tapping into a divine feminine who no longer relates as hard to her divine feminine energy. She is a goddess in her own right, but she's also a god in her own right. And she honors her masculine energy just as much as her feminine now. So it's like, you know, yeah, I do feel the need to nurture, but you ain't my kid. <laughs> like, it's just like, listen, I care about you. I cared about you, but I can't take care of you for life. You know, at a certain point, you got to help yourself. Um, so anyways, for yourself says it's time to take back control of your life. We also have let your friends help you. So your angels, your guides, and even your friends here in the 3D, um, may be helping you at this time. Definitely your, your angels and your guides, but you make it, um, linked up with a new person through a friend like a friend may be the the missing link you know the person that's uh connecting you with this new person in your life so be open 
be open to friends even coming through and connecting you. All right, well, let's get into these love offers. Let's see what the relationship offer. Oh, I keep bumping the camera today. Let's see what the relationship offer is, Spirit, for group two. Let's do the old flame first, get this out of the way, wrap this up with a bow, and we'll see what this going steady committed soul connection is giving. Let me set some intention for a spirit for group two. For the old flame, can you show us their relationship offer? We have the five of swords and the justice card that has flipped over. So this person is coming back because look at this five of swords. They've got themselves into some trouble. I feel like they went and tried to be with someone else or they experienced like, okay, the grass is not at all greener on the other side. This is giving an energy of you were the person I was already supposed, I, I was always supposed to be with. It may be too little too late for you. But with the Justice card, I can say that they are trying to give this a full shot. And especially with that enjoying the moment that they were in before, I feel like they know if they're going to be with you. They have to be with you and only you and committed. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. So no, no more third party situations or no more kind of childish love where it's like our friend groups are involved and we're listening to other people, listening to friends, listening to family and their opinions. Like they know they got to, you know, step it up and they have to show up properly. Wow. they ha We have the Two of Cups here. So they do genuinely feel like you are their soulmate. Wow, and we have the Four of Wands, and the way that I picked it up, we have the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. So, camera keeps focusing on everything else. The Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. Four of Wands is marriage energy, Two of Cups is soulmate energy, so this person is trying to give your relationship a full shot. And uh, even with the Four of Wands, there's spirit in the back, in the background, in the clouds, kind of directing things. So I do feel like spirit led you together for a reason. Even with this, there's an archetype of like the higher uh, power, the Elohim here. So yeah, it does seem like you were put together for a reason. It does seem like with the Justice card, this was something that is coming back around because it's balancing the scales. Now you could balance those scales by deciding not to be with this person and, and getting closure to the situation. Um, but I do see that your path with them is not over. This may be the final hurrah, but they're offering a full commitment. Spirit, what can you tell us about this soul connection, about this quantum advancement? Ooh, yeah, not gonna lie, it's real hard for you to move on. It is really hard for you to move on, and there's a little bit of fear here, maybe because it's taking a while. We have a lot of pentacle energy, which is the slowest moving in the tarot deck. So I do see you wanting to move forward and have a quantum advancement and move into a new connection, more stability, more of a long-lasting, serious relationship that you can trust. However, we do have... The Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands in reverse, the Empress in reverse. Something about this kind of feels scary or it feels like a huge risk. Something about this feels like I shouldn't or I'm missing out. It could be in relation to this old flame that's showing up as this metaphor of love. Maybe you can't move on until you really explore it. And surprisingly, that is the energy that I was getting because I'm like, whoa, whoa. Two of Cups, Four of Wands. The Four of Wands came up reverse, but when I flipped the card, I flipped it over like this. And so it was like reverse, but I'm like, no, if I would have just flipped it over like this, it would have been upright. So I'm like surprised that there's so much romantic, lovey-dovey energy with this old flame. And I think it's because there's so much like, 
going on beneath the surface with healing family issues and potential generational curses and trauma overcoming and with metaphor of love. But Two of Cups, Justice, and Four of Wands is traditionally a very romantic love connection that you can trust and that is worthwhile. Otherwise, that ain't what, what is justice about that? What is fair about BS? You know? So it's like... You may choose to be with them. We have the Ace of Swords. It also seems like, especially with this Ace of Swords, that you are kind of like really not cutting people too much slack. <laughs> uh, we have the Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. You have really high expectations. And I do feel like it's at least partially based on past experiences. It's hard for you to give someone the benefit of the doubt. It's hard for you to really let someone in due to your past experiences. So... This person you are kind of playing hardball with a little here. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Wands in reverse. So I do feel like this uh, person is giving stability. But Nine of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, surprisingly, you may just need more time to heal is the best way to explain it. Because I am seeing you having a hard time opening your heart up to this person. It makes sense. It's a quantum advancement. But it doesn't feel like that hip, hip, hooray, quantum advancement type of energy that you would expect. It feels heavy. It feels like your heart and your mind is elsewhere. Uh, it feels like you're giving them a hard time, even because of past experiences, having a hard time letting them in. It feels complicated. First card that came out for you is trust. Spirit says you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So I am seeing you having a hard time opening yourself up to another person. Maybe that's just it in itself. You've opened up to a few people in the last however long and it didn't lead you, you know, to the beneficial place that you were hoping for. So just in general, you're having a hard time opening up to someone just because the process of opening up to someone can be very vulnerable and taxing. We have admire and telepathic admire says it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner so yeah spirit is definitely calling you to give this person the bfd okay the benefit of the doubt is that even bfd yeah i don't know and then we have telepathic it says close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized creating moments of telepathy so i feel like spirit is going to give you an extra boost by connecting you in a spiritual kind of way in a telepathic kind of way to this person to kind of give you the confirmation that it's worth your while to give you the confirmation that it's worth tr worth trusting them so you can move forward but it does seem like your heart is still here and i feel like you should give it a fair shot I feel like it'll be worth it with the Justice card, especially with the Two of Wands or Two of Cups, that soulmate connection and the Four of Wands, the true commitment. I feel like you should give it a shot. But also, there's a new option here, and I would say that this one will open slow, open up slowly but surely. It'll take you some time to really trust this person, but I still feel like it's worth your while for sure. Spirit is telling you to trust, so Spirit wants you to open up here. That's what I have for you, group two. My Etsy shop will be in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Uh, and that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the Galacophane Crystal Point and the Villains Tarot, this is your reading, tapping in to see. Who will tell you that they are in love with you? What is their relationship offer? What kind of commitment Ooh. is this going to be? We're going to see all of that for group three spirit with the Galacophane crystal point. Please show us for group three. Who will tell group three that they are in love with them oh my goodness right away we got multiple options first card out of the deck for you so 
buckle up group three it's going to be a wild ride you are going to have multiple options there seems to be multiple people in your energy at this time and multiple people who are going to be trying to move forward with you trying to express and profess their love their desire for you you guys got multiple options right away so all right spirit for group three. Oh no. <laughs> we got all sorts of creatures that came out. So this is a different kind of energy. Essentially, they're figuratively kind of saying the same thing. But these are two different versions of people. Having multiple options in love is different than attracting all sorts of creatures. And that is the second card that we have out for you. So if you've been, you know, working on your magnetism and your attraction, even if you've been working on your magnetism and attraction for money, you got to understand, like, if you're increasing your magnetism, yeah, you're increasing your magnetism, magnetism, and then you're setting specific intention, like, this is what I want to call in. But yeah, there's, of course, going to be other things that you also call into your life. Um, when you're manifesting, when you're working on your magnetism, your attraction powers. So there's going to be a few people trying to move forward with you. Not going to lie. There's going to be a few people here that are trying to slide in with you, group three. Trying to see what you're all about. Mm, maybe even someone from the past. Um, well, it doesn't necessarily give me... Ooh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So we have having the talk and official date. So there's also someone in your energy here, group three, who it seems like you've been interested in for a while, and this person has been interested in you as well for a while, but for whatever reason, it just hasn't gone anywhere serious, and you guys are having the talk. Basically, DTR, determining the relationship. What are we? What are we doing? Where are we going? Kind of thing. Because at this point, it seems too ambiguous. It's likely making you uncomfortable. And it's like, listen, I need to know what, where we're at, what we're doing. I need to get a hold of this connection and how we're moving forward. So you're having to talk with someone with a situation that's been a bit uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable because they've been making you uncomfortable, but just uncomfortable because you haven't known like what you guys are doing and you're taking it a step further and going on an official date with that person. So that'll be really nice. We also have divine counterpart and you get me. So there is another connection here that... This person seems to really understand you. You really understand that person. Spirit just said same type of humor. So you may specifically have like a unique type of humor or maybe you're super sarcastic and people can't take it. People don't understand it or, you know, they get easily offended by you, your jokes, your energy. Maybe you just, you're deadpan, like you have a super dry sense of humor <laughs> and people always think you're serious. This person's going to understand that. Nice. Okay, so I see things moving forward. Okay, because I was a little worried there. Um, honestly, I do feel like you're going to have a couple, at least two, really good options. A couple options that you really want. We even have person of interest that has just come out. So whoever you've been setting intention for, unless this is a manifestation, this is likely the person you're having an official date with. Because we were talking about that increasing your magnetism. We also have quantum advancement here. So I would not be surprised if it was a, um, I would not be surprised if it was a manifestation like someone you haven't met yet in the 3D, someone you don't know. Um, and getting to know each other. So I do see you getting closer to this person of interest. I do see you getting closer to this manifestation. So if there is someone that you've been interested in and it doesn't seem like things have been able to move forward with that person, things are finally moving forward. So yeah, there's definitely multiple options here. Like I said, at least two. Divine, counter, divine counterpart, you get me as one. Um, having the talk and official date is two. And this person of interest would be three unless you're not manifesting. If you're manifesting, especially with quantum advancement, person of interest getting to know each other, that's a clear-cut energy of you finally getting closer to a manifestation, opening a line of contact to a manifestation. Someone that you've set intention for to meet. Um, 
Also, this could be an energy of like your love life leveling up in the sense that you're now uh, attracted to or attracting uh, more of the kind of people you've been trying to manifest. So say you haven't been manifesting like an SP at a specific person, but you've been more so manifesting a specific archetype like, okay, I want, you know, a certain people with this kind of lifestyle or these kind of beliefs, whatever, whatever. Uh, that This could be that as well. We'll see spirit for group three. Wow, you got a lot of love offers. <laughs> we have love yourself first and chemistry. Chemistry says there is a strong magnetic attraction here, so you're definitely making a connection. Love yourself first as your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You guys may be outgrowing people-pleasing tendencies or uh, tendencies to kind of create this runner-chaser dynamic. So if you found yourself in your last few connections running after people, it seems like you may have even went into hermit mode for a little while to really shake that habit. And now you're re-emerging. And honestly, I feel like all of this is triggering you just because there's so many people. Just because there's so many people in your energy, I feel like that may be triggering you into to an old version of yourself that does kind of start to chase because it's like, okay, 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 I want to conserve, you know, as much as I can. I have chemistry with multiple people right now and it's overwhelming. So it's kind of making me revert back to factory programming. But if the old programming is that of, you know, I chase not attract versus you and your magnetic energy now, then you may kind of end up switching back. So Spirit is saying definitely do things to maintain, I want to say self-care, but to maintain your sense of self. I would say journaling every day about how you need to show up. That is specifically, that is specifically what I would journal about. Every day, ask yourself the same question and journal about it. And come up with a new point and expand on it. And that question needs to be, how do I need to show up best for me to be able to have the type of relationship that I want? And that way, every single day, you can reiterate the new version of yourself versus going back into the old programming. That way, every day, you have this consistent reminder, I need to show up this way, I need to show up this way, I need to show up this way, so that you don't start chasing we have worth waiting for here it says divine timing is at work in your love life so this may be like an energy of you getting out of a drought it may have been quite the wait here um i'm also feeling worth waiting for relating to divine counterpart spirit keeps bringing my eyes over there so yeah spirit is saying you have multiple options here we have it is safe for you to love it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so Spirit is saying, like, all of these connections really would be good. Besides all sorts of creatures, I feel like you're going to know what that is. <laughs> like, I feel like you'll be able to easily tell if someone's just on BS or if people are, you know, coming in, giving you word salad, trying to convince you of their life, trying to make it seem like it's bigger or better than what it is, trying to really paint the picture, you know, to you versus just expressing what their life is like and, you know, just kind of telling you, you know, this is what I have going on and whatnot. When people put a lot of effort into framing things a certain kind of way, that should kind of, you know, alert the alarm bells. Um, but we do have it as safe for you to love. So overall, I do feel like Spirit is telling you, go ahead, get in the mix, allow yourself to have fun, allow yourself to meet new people, talk to new people, explore these connections. I feel like you should give every last one of them a fair shot. We have You Deserve a Love and release your ex. So your actual ex may be coming back up, okay? Um, the time has come for you to clear your energy is what it says at the bottom of that one. So I feel like this may also be this person that you're going on this official date with finally that you're having the talk with. It kind of feels like, okay, I had to pull teeth to get to this point. Do I want to do that forever? It's almost like this is an omen of what it would be like to be with this person. So you may end up going on a date with this person, finally getting them after waiting for so long, but choosing to wait for the divine counterpart to come in or this person of interest, this archetype or this specific person you've been manifesting with this quantum advancement energy. 
you may be waiting it out, which is crazy because I feel like before now you would have likely been, uh, you know, kind of even impatient, like really waiting for or really wanting something, something to just come in already. All right, I'm going to break this down bar for bar. Spirit, divine counterpart, you get me. What is their relationship offer? What is their commitment to group three? We have the six of wands, the page of wands in reverse, king of wands in reverse, and the star in reverse. Ooh, sticky situation here. So the six of wands is a card of success. I feel like this is someone you may work with or someone in your same industry, someone you have a lot of respect for. Um, but we also have the star in reverse and the king of wands in reverse, which is giving me like all that glitters is not gold. It's giving me a little energy of what you thought you wanted or what you thought you were manifesting was a hoax or a lie. I mean, this isn't the manifested connection. This would be your divine counterpart. So I'm really surprised. It seems like you get each other, but I feel like this person may be reflecting your toxic side. With the star in reverse, it may be too long of a wait as well. King of Wands in reverse, it may feel like it's not worth it, even though it's a special connection to wait so long. And then we have the Six of Wands and the Page of Wands in reverse. So Page of Wands in reverse is good. That lets us know this person is coming in leveled up. But we also had that King of Wands reverse before, so I feel like the weight is really getting to you with this one, honestly. We have Justice. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So that's good. You know, Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords can be a card of sabotage. It can be a card of doing shady business. With the Justice card and the Seven of Swords in reverse, Spirit is saying this connection would be worthwhile, but you would have to do it the right way. We have so many karmic energies coming in, like justice is a very karmic energy. The star is even a very karmic energy because the star represents being at the right place at the right time. The star represents divine guidance. It represents like the North Star, the future, doing things the right way, divine timing, phases and cycles. So I feel like it's, even though this is worth waiting for, I'm seeing you feeling like you don't want to wait. Spirit, can we get anything about their relationship offer? I mean, it's a, it's a divine counterpart, so that's giving serious energy. Queen of Cups, this person would treat you very well. We have the devil in reverse and the page of cups in reverse. So it's like, yeah, it's not quick, fast, and in a hurry. It's like fast food versus Michelin star, you know? You go to a Michelin star restaurant, you're going to wait, yeah, at least 40 minutes for your food, even an appetizer, because it's like everything is quite literally being made from scratch on the spot. But if you come in hungry, you know, if right now you're hungry for love, it's, it's not going to seem like that Michelin star restaurant is worth it because the wait was too long. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here, you know. If you come in hungry to a restaurant, it's like the food wasn't even that good. Because I had to wait forever for it. So it takes it down a couple stars, a couple notches for you. So with the devil in reverse, page of cups in reverse, queen of cups, definitely worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. I mean, this person would literally treat you like a, like royalty. But the wait on this one is real. Not going to lie. I do sell candles on my manifest or on my uh, Etsy shop. So if you do want to manifest this, I can do like a little speed candle for you to speed things up so this can come through significantly faster or, you know, to clear whatever blockages may be in the way, whatever is in the way of things kind of coming together quicker. I have custom spell work on my Etsy shop as well if you want to choose other things um, to get done at the same time. But yeah, not gonna lie. I don't feel like you'll wait for this connection. If I had to say, I don't feel like, like it would be well worth the wait, but I don't see you doing that. Not gonna lie. Spirit, what can you tell me about having the talk and official day? Is this gonna go somewhere? Wow, we got the 10 of pentacles, five of wands in reverse. So knight of cups in reverse. So first of all, five of wands in reverse, it feels really good to clear the chaos and 10 of coins. 
Honestly, I feel like it's everything you kind of thought it would be. With the Ten of Pentacles here, it's like Ten of Pentacles represents long-term stability, wealth, and abundance. <clears throat> Spirit, what else can you tell us? What's this Knight of Cups in reverse? Ooh, and the Eight of Cups. So this person may have to walk away from a relationship before they can be with you. Because I'm like, okay, Ten of Pentacles is long-term stability. Five of Wands in reverse is like, yeah, we're finally clearing the air. We're going on an official date. It feels good. We're having conversation. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, you know, it's worth the wait for sure with that one as well. Longevity. But Knight of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups, this person may be like emotionally unavailable or romantically unavailable this is like an energy of someone who can't offer you a relationship right now can't offer you a cup because they're in one eight of cups they have to get out of that relationship and it's like if they do yeah <laughs> wheel of fortune it would be well well worth the wait wheel of fortune it would be really good for the both of you however they do have to do that, Eight of Cups. They do have to get out of that relationship, like period, point blank. Are they going to do that? We have the Page of Coins in reverse. So they definitely don't want to. They're having a hard time getting out of their old like way of being. They definitely have a way that they're kind of used to handling things. And I feel like they are kind of comfortable you will get Ten of Pentacles, a long-term relationship offer that you can depend on with this person, but you would have to wait for them to get out of their current relationship or to dismantle their relationship with their job, you know, with their, with their routine, like whatever it is that you know is holding them back. If I had to say Eight of Cups, to me it's looking like a, to me it's looking like a third party situation. Spirit, how about this quantum advancement, this person of interest? We have the Knight of Swords. I do see you getting your manifestation, ultimately. I do see you getting a shot, Spirit just said, a shot. Ooh, oh, wow. We have the Magician and the Ten of Cups. So this is definitely manifested. Like I said, I got manifestation candles and custom spell work on my Etsy shop. If it's something more complex or hard, like, oh, I want to manifest someone who is highly guarded, highly known, it's going to be custom spell work. <laughs> it's going to be custom spell work. Because that comes with clearing other things out of the way. It's a lot. One candle ain't gonna do it. You're gonna have to go for the, the you know, the big, the big dogs. But if you are a, you know, witchy girly, witchy guy yourself, I would say it's definitely worth manifesting, especially if it's already been on your mind, you've been thinking about it. Uh, Knight of Swords is like spirit saying, go for it. Like, you know, pull that trig. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Empress, and the Hair of Fan. Ooh, so you know that you can manifest this person. Some of you don't want to. Some of you would rather this happen organically because Queen of Swords in reverse, you feel like you feel like you shouldn't have to. You would get them though. You would get your manifestation. Spirit, anything on these creatures? We have the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands. Dang, Four of Wands is a uh, like you know marriage energy, long term relationship energy. Wow. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands and the Seven of Wands here. A lot of wand energy, fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Very quick, quick fast moving energy. Uh, and then we have the Judgment card and the Four of Swords. You may be seeing 404, 414, repeating fours. It feels like a repeat of the past with the Four of Swords and the Judgment card, a lesson learned already. You don't want to repeat history. But some of these creatures will be willing to commit to you if you want to. But just be very careful because it is going to be a repeating of history moment. 
And then we have the Nine of Wands that came out with it as well. So there's an energy of standing your ground, knowing yourself and not allowing yourself to get distracted, especially with so much, you know, so many other options on your plate that we know are valuable. There would be multiple other people who are willing to commit to you, but it is giving repeat of the past energy. You guys got a lot going on. Good luck, Group 3. <laughs> My Etsy shop is in the description if you'd like your own private tarot reading or any of my other magical offerings. All that stuff is on there. Uh, and that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the green zebra stone and the everyday witch tarot, this is your reading. Tapping in to see, okay. Who will tell you that they are in love with you? And we'll see their commitment to you as well. What kind of relationship would this be? Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone who feels like home. Someone who feels familiar. Someone who has the ability to benefit you. Someone who has the ability to add into your life, your story, enrich you. I'm seeing with knowledge, with culture, Spirit is showing me they could be from a different culture than you. You could be learning a new language through this person. Spirit for group four. Who will tell group four they are in love with them? What kind of commitment is this? Okay. So I think I see you doing your thing. Honestly, right now, we have living freely and angelic help and guidance. So right away, you're doing your thing. You're living life. I don't see that you're trying to force anything or even that you're looking for anything. It kind of seems like you stopped looking and you just started living your best life. Living your life as best as you could. Living your life in a way that feels like it makes sense to you. Living free, no obligation. You may be focusing like literally on what makes you happy at this time because it's definitely reflecting in your cards. So then we have the pure card here. It seems like you have a pure heart. And that is exactly how you're moving at this time. You're moving from a space of purity. You're moving from a space of, listen, whatever happens, happens. But I'm going to be present in each moment so that if the moment is calling for me to have fun with friends, I can do that. I'm not guess, getting disappointed by the end of the night, constantly feeling like my life is not as good as it really is because I'm fixated on a certain ideal or fixated on things playing out a certain kind of way. You're very present in the moment with a pure heart, helping people when you can, having genuine conversations with people where it's like, oh, I'm not just talking to you because you're a potential romantic partner, but I'm talking to you because you seem interesting to me or because I'm present in the moment with another human here. So we have showing interest. I am tap tapping into someone showing interest to you. I am picking up on someone being interested and communicating their inter interest, showing their interest. Spirit for group four. Yeah, we got, we have taken it easy, okay? So you are on your relax tip right now. You are on your taking it easy, taking it slow. I think that's a song by, um, I want to say Danny Lay and somebody else. I don't know if that's the name of the song, but I know they say, and take it easy. I'm hearing that now. So you're really vibing. Let's just catch a vibe. You're literally vibing, living your life in good spirits, in good energy. You're taking it easy, really getting into that self-care, decorating your house. Not a complete renovation, but you may have just hung up some, you know, eucalyptus in your shower or something. Or, you know, you may be getting into candles or incense right now, just really focusing on, you know, the lighting. How can I set the mood? How can I get the vibe right so I can really feel good? You're, focus you're focused on your own feelings right now, feeling good. Oh, I just heard a long time coming, so it may have took a long time for you to get here. It may have taken you some work to get to this space where you could allow yourself, you know, to be comfortable not talking to someone. 
You may be a serial monogamous, someone who's typically used to at least having a crush or, you know, typically kind of being in a relationship, but now you're taking it easy. If you've been single, it feels like you're finally now okay being single. So we have someone new and checking you out, group four. So this is going to be a new love connection, not someone you know, not someone you're used to. The person that's going to be telling you that they love you, communicating their true feelings to you. This is someone who's checking you out currently. They're showing interest. And this is going to be a grower, you know, something that kind of grows into a genuine love connection, something that kind of grows into something more but starts off very innocent and pure and almost feels like you know friend vibes and it's all because of you and your level up we have the leveling up card here you may be getting into meditation you may be getting into uh some sort of like new self practice maybe even like some god worship goddess worship like of yourself though some mirror work whether that's saying affirmations to yourself or whether that's, you know, like more sensual in the mirror and whatnot. But you are leveling up. And there's someone in your energy, someone new, checking you out, Spirit. What else can you tell us for group four? Ooh, we got release your ex. So if that's something you've already been doing, which I feel like it really is, Spirit is saying you've almost fully released them, if not already. And this is the go. Green means go. This is the go to go ahead and do that. If you've been kind of hanging on to something. Yeah, there's an energy of illusions here, but I do feel like those illusions are clearing. Release your ex says the time has come to clear your energy. We have deception. It says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And then we have love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So for you, group four, spirit is calling you to release your ex if you haven't already. Um, Spirit is letting you know that that person has been, you know, kind of putting on the mask, you know, deceiving you. And honestly, maybe it was more of an unconscious thing. Maybe they presented themselves a certain kind of way. People do it every day. Presented themselves a certain kind of way so that they wouldn't miss out on the opportunity with you because they wanted you. So they kind of just told you what you would want to hear or told you whatever kind of would sound like and feel like you guys are truly in alignment. But um, Spirit is calling you to let that go, and I feel like that's because you have someone new coming into your life, and Spirit doesn't want you to remain committed to this person of the past. Spirit is saying, all right, love yourself first. Now the actions are going to have to match all the other stuff because it's easy when you're, you know, doing your self-care and no one's pressing you, trying to move forward with you, but it's a little bit harder when there's actually, like, your ex, someone you have a past with, or a potential romantic partner at your door. It's a little bit harder. Uh, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive is what it says at the bottom of love yourself first. So it's really a win-win. We have give your relationship a chance and this could be the one. So I feel like spirit is kind of saying allow this relationship to grow on you. At the bottom of this card it says work on your partnership. Spirit doesn't want you to come into this new connection with the idea that they're not going to be able to, you know, love you the way that your ex did or understand you. Spirit wants you to give them, give them like a full shot. This could be the one says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. That's the only thing I don't like about the romance angels. It kind of factors in time. This is like a future love reading who will tell you they're in love with you next. So that does not at all mean that you've met this new person. So keep your mind open and just know this could be the one. What kind of relationship is this? I mean, this could be the one is very telling. <laughs> Ooh, we got the passion card. So a lot of passion here, a lot of passion, excitement. 
joy. We got calling in your soulmate. So a soulmate connection. This could even be manifested. If you've been manifesting, definitely keep going with that. Or if you've been thinking about manifesting, this is definitely your sign to do it. I sell manifestation candles on my Etsy shop, burned on my personal altar, dressed with the corresponding herbs, oils, the proper colors. I got a lot of spiritual information. I can light one for you. Or if you want something to really uh, get it to get you together, get stuff in order, custom spell work on there as well. But if you're, you know, a magical, you know, girly, a magical guy yourself, if you're an alchemist, this is spirit kind of giving you that go like, yeah, this is the time to be working on that manifestation. It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Heavy on the visualizations I'm hearing with this. So if you've been thinking about doing some visualization work, I was getting mirror work at some point in your reading. Definitely expand that to visualization. Like take that a step further. Like, okay, I've been doing mirror work and pouring, you know, magic and love into myself. But now let me in the mirror, um, you know, maybe you want to set the scene as if you're telling a story. You know, maybe you want to pretend you are a narrator speaking from the perspective of your future life and you're narrating what you see and what's happening. So you're saying yourself like, so say it's me. My name is, you know, Jazz. Jazz and her husband or Jazz and her wife. Okay, per. Jazz and her life partner are very happy living a lifestyle disconnected from social media they have a strong, passionate connection like that, to give you an example. And then we have passion and healing family issues. So this is definitely going to be a very passionate connection, fiery, fun, exciting, liberating. Ooh, I just heard this person likes to dance. And then I specifically heard bachata. So this person could be from a different culture from you unless you come from a culture that dances in that way. Passion says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this person may come from a culture with customary dances. Uh, and then we have healing family issues. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this person is actually going to even help you do some familial healing, you know, and that's what that six of cups is about. It's like, a leg up, someone really coming into your life to help you, to love you, someone you feel very familiar with, someone you who feels like home. Spirit for group four. What kind of relationship is this? We have the strength card here. So definitely a connection that feels very life-giving. Definitely a connection that strengthens you, makes you feel better. Eight of Pentacles. Wow, this person really has something to bring to the table. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like people in the past couldn't see your value. They couldn't appreciate what you brought to the table. And then we have the Six of Cups that did end up coming completely out of the deck. So it was at the bottom of the deck before and we saw it, but now it did come out for you. So uh, Six of Cups could be, did I say Six of Pentacles? I meant to say Six of Cups. Um, Six of Cups can be uh, someone from the past. Typically, it would be like a childhood uh, type of friend, though, not necessarily like mm, an ex-lover. That's not really traditionally Six of Cups energy. It could be, but usually it's not. Um, it could be someone that you knew from childhood, someone who you knew from way back, someone who you had a crush on a while back but never pursued anything. Or again, just someone who feels like home, someone who feels safe, someone who provides you warmth, someone who understands you, resonates with you, wants to take care of you, and not necessarily in a financial way where it's like, yes, you about to get your sugar pop, <laughs> but in a way where it's like this person emotionally holds space for you amazingly well. And then we have the Six of Swords and the Strength card. Six of Swords is a card of moving up, moving on, moving forward, moving into a new life. So yeah, heavy on that mirror work, heavy on that visualization. If you're more of a dream board or a vision board kind of person, that would be good for you as well. Actually listening to affirmations as you're sleeping, as you're in the dream space would be really good for you too. So you can find them on um, Spotify even. You don't even have to watch like, you know, on YouTube, but you can find a bunch of like sleep, sleep subliminal sleep affirmations on Spotify so you can listen like with your screen off without ads and whatnot. 
Um, but they have them on YouTube as well. Whoa, we got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So trading in a dream, one dream for another. Ten of Pentacles, long-term long stability, earth energy, long-lasting. Pentacles is very slow-moving energy, but the most sustainable. So this person is offering you Ten of Pentacles. This could be your forever partner, really, especially with you leveling up. At the same time and the angelic help and guidance it's kind of like everyone's rooting for you and it's just the perfect time for you to slip into something that can really be long term that would really be worthwhile uh ten of pentacles is also marriage energy wow we got the emperor here yeah this person they're trying to be the one king of pentacles dang you guys are getting a lot of strong like divine masculine energy you're getting a lot of strong pentacle energy okay 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 spirit we get it we get it it's going to be the best connection that ever existed <laughs> we got 10 10 here we got the 10 of pentacles and we have the 10 of cups you may be seeing 10 10 or different combinations of ones and zeros as angel numbers right now um but yeah 10 of cups long-awaited connection Wow, there's a baby in a carriage here. There's even a, um, in the back of the Ten of uh, Cups in this deck, there's even like a, a helpmate there. And then we have the cat, we have the picnic, very fruitful energy. And then we have the newborn baby in the bassinet. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, long-term stability. We got the same cat here. Uh, but we have the couple that's grown old. We have three children in this one. Two of them look like teenagers. One of them looks like a toddler. We got a dog now. Oh, and another cat. So again, it represents like life building, long-term, long-term stability, longevity. We got the Ace of Cups. We got the King of Pentacles. Like I'm not trying to gas it. Look at the cards. We got a lot of pentacle energy, by the way. This person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or have strong earth energy in their chart. You could be an earth sign as well. We have the emperor, the ace of cups, and the king of pentacles here. So there's an energy of this person providing with the emperor. They see your value. They trust you. King of pentacles, they have a lot to bring into this connection. And with the ace of cups, it's like you still get to hold on to your inner high priestess. You still get to spend time with yourself, you know, doing your thing we got on this ace of cups you know she's got her witch hat she's making her witch brew she's got the magic swirling around her head cat at her feet she has her own relationship with herself with nature with the divine you know it's giving that kind of vibe where it's like we have opposites attract almost where it's like finance bro and astrology girly type energy <laughs> Where there's a, a contrast here, two different people that actually make quite a lot of sense, which is interesting because on the Emperor card in this deck, his scroll at his feet, his map, it's not like plans, it's astrology, it's, it's constellations. So I feel like this person has their own connection to the, to the divine as well. I feel like they have their own connection to the universe they trust spirit. They trust what's coming into their life. They trust you. And we have the two of wands here, which typically can represent kind of being stuck between two decisions. But for this, I don't feel that way. For this, I feel like it's an energy of you genuinely balancing both worlds. You have the world in your hand on this, on this two of wands here. So I see that you're kind of balancing like your home life, your romantic life. Being a parent, being a fur mom, fur dad, you know, a parent of uh, animals, having responsibilities, whatever that means for you, but also having that strong relationship with yourself still. Having your own life still. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four?
You're also the only pile that got only one option that showed up for you today. All the other piles had so many options. So I feel like you're on the straight and narrow. Spirit has a plan for you. Sure, it can be kind of uneventful. But with you, I feel like you're good. You're taking it easy. You're in a good energy. You're living freely. You're leveling up. You have other things in your life that are sustaining you and making you feel good. Spirit has a specific person ready for you, though. We have patience and purification, so Spirit is still purifying you, your life, taking some things out, putting some things in, replacing what was lost, and leveling you up. That's what I have for you, Group 4. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you would like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. And that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon.